My thesis is about memory and memory of memory of love, basically. Nice. There's there's one quote from this really great film director called Nick. His name is Nick Cassavetes, and he once said something. He said, "I'm only interested in love, nothing else." And I thought, and uh, I I read that when I was twenty one, just a few years ago. But I thought that was a really interesting quote because yeah. if you look at the human condition. What really matters to us, and what is one thing that we cannot figure out, and that really is love. I didn't want to make a conventional love story about a boy meets a girl, and for me, I'm most interested in how the mind functions when you know when it's kind of confronting both success and failures of love. It is an extremely hot day for the season. In my situation, it's never a good sign. I wake up expecting to be depressed, with the hope that events during the course of the day will brighten my mood. For this thesis, what I'm trying to do is do the psychological portrait of a mind operating in the realm in in the realm between success and failure. I'm distrustful of instant gratifications. They lack suspense, excitement, and tension. What I'm trying to do is trying to find a language that can really perfectly describe this ambiguous state of the mind when it's both, you know, experiencing love and trying to forget love. A beautiful face makes a gloomy day vibrant, yet loneliness on a beautiful day is useless for mind engulfed in passion. I think for the writing process, I don't really have a set of things you know that, that I do like you know to to get to the the state of writing like basically you know I try to do these small things in the morning like drink coffee eat breakfast surf the net talk to friends and then after two or three hours of procrastination where my mind gets so anxious that I have to say Ian stop and start writing that's when the when writing begins. I think I spend usually about 10 hours a day inside this room, in front of this desk, by my computer. But only about two and a half hours are spent on thinking about my writing and writing. The other seven and a half hours are just filler. I mean, I think when I was younger, like, like I'm 25 this year, but when I was 18 or 19, I was writing a lot more just based on inspiration. Sometimes I would go to a coffee shop when I'm really inspired and I will sit there and drive for like four hours and I can write a whole story. And that happened pretty much with all of my early stories. But in the last few years, I found it just harder and harder to have the moment of inspiration where I can maintain the, the intensity for like for that long. I don't really know what happened to me. Either I got lazy or I don't have the same strength or I don't have the same, you know, dedication, just I can only write maybe in about like two hours, stop, two hours and stop. Yeah. And I find it harder and harder to write a self-contained story in just one sitting. I can probably get about 200 words a day. And if I can get to 200, I'm happy. If I can get to 400, then I will celebrate by drinking some wine. September, I had only about 3,000 words done, mm -hmm. and today I have about 14,000. So wow. that means it's still not long enough, but that means in two months, I wrote about 11,000 words. Right. If you break that down, that's exactly about 200 a day. It just doesn't have enough you know, right, right. To, to form a book yet which yeah. is my biggest concern yeah. at the moment. And I only have about four weeks before my scheduled defense. Right. So 
and my biggest problem nowadays is how to rearrange these words into a book. Right. And if I cannot do that, do I start over or do I, you know, just, you know, what do I do? That's what I th that's what I'm thinking about every day. Ten days before Thanksgiving, right. like ten days would be crucial.